Mia. God bless you. It's not over. Come in a fucking cheese sandwich at the roundhouse. You don't get moving, chief. Get moving. Standing here in front of the Liberty Bell with uh, Veronica Jones. Hey, so uh, why did you come out here today to the Mamiya protest? I tried to make it to all the protests because I stood up to, for what I believed, even though I, I had been, you know, um, coerced before. But I'm older and wiser, and my children, they, al they always told me, you always told us not to lie and stand up for what you believe in. That's what made me come out and tell the truth. And I'm still with him. And if he needs me till today, I am 46. I will be 47 Wednesday. I have three grandkids now. And I'm still riding high with him. So may God bless him and be with him. Because I believe the truth will, it will subside. Mm -hmm. It really will. Because you saw two people running away from the scene. I saw two people running away from the scene. After, you know, after I heard the gunshots, they ran. All I did was left and went back down. You know, I left. And I went down somewhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do after that. You know, I was really scared. But um, it's just a lot of things going on that people are trying to call me a liar. How can you call me a liar when I can tell you every hitch and stitch of what Locust Street looked like? Don't mm -hmm. do that to me. I'm not a liar. And you, and you did say that in the original police report. Yes, I did. And they got you to say something different on the yes. stand in 82. They cornered me in the prison told me I was going to jail for robbery, but they were going to let me loose. You know, if I did, if, if I if I didn't testify, if I testified against me, I would be, you know, free. But if I did, I was facing five to fifteen years for gun charges. I had three little girls, little little girls, and I was eighteen years old. You are working on a, a new book, giving your side of, of your story about yes, this. Yes, yes, I'm giving my side of the story. Because Maureen Faulkner put a lot of falsifications in her in her book, and Mumia, he's a he's a good man. I never knew Mumia as a person. I knew him by the radio. But Officer Faulkner was a very good friend of mine, and nobody ever asked me that. They never asked me about me and Officer Faulkner. But now I have to tell everything about me and Officer Faulkner in the book. <laughs> This system ain't loyal to these cops. This system ain't loyal to these skinheads. about black people. I'm saying they got you acting like they're willing slaves all because you poked up around the idea that you supreme somehow. That you better than other people. But I got a thing to tell you. This government don't care about you. Look at those Vietnam vets coming back from the world that they didn't start. I'm saying they need them. What's that? We're going to have to eat a fucking cheese sandwich at the roundhouse. You don't get moving, chief. Get moving. What do you think of these boneheads? Pick the boneheads! I hear the free from me. And to let these people know that we're not going to sit silent and let them murder an innocent man. That's why, that's why we're here. And you see this beauty right here. Because all these people are seeing the justice for who we are in tomorrow. A political prisoner on Pennsylvania's back row. And we need to end this shit right now, today. There's a lot of people out there that feel like um, yeah, Mumi is innocent, but they got him. There's nothing we can do about it. There's a whole lot we can do about it. We need to light fire under the ass of this justice system and let them know that we're not going to stand by and let them murder Mumi because it's been far too long that he's been living a life like this and can't touch his kids. It's unnatural and we're sick of him. He needs to come home now. It's evident that Mumi Abu Jamal is an innocent man. Get the information. 
think you will not read it in the Enquirer. You won't get it in your daily news. You won't get it on channel 3, 6, and 10. Abu Jamal News, we have the information. Check out the facts. On the 4th of July, we're coming back through here. We want to shut this motherfucker down. We want to shut this motherfucker down. I want people to understand who get outraged over this word motherfucker. Motherfucker ain't French. It ain't German. It ain't Greek. It's English. And the English use this word to describe something foul. And what's happening is these motherfuckers are foul. How long are we gonna allow them to go through our neighborhoods, putting people out in the street? systematically excluded all African Americans off the jury, the California Supreme Court. And that's the same thing Mumil was arguing in his case as well. I understand it clearly. And after being on death row, they overturned my conviction and I went through two more trials. My third trial had a hung jury. It was my fourth trial that I was acquitted. After 13 years being in California prison, I was acquitted and I'm here today to support Mumil and hopefully not just a new trial, but a fair and just trial. Don't live the spirit of meal. We've already released 128 people across the country. We've executed almost 1,100. That's about one out of every eight people executed who are uh, innocent who have been released. So you got a figure of people on death row, which is a little over 3,000. There's probably another two to 300 innocent people on death row. The likelihood that the Mayor Abu Jamal is one of those people. Emanating from Washington, D.C. is a plan to destabilize the world, to take and steal the world's resources, and to neutralize our power to stop them here great, at home. Great. The American Embassy in Marseille, in Saint Denis, on the street Mumia, in the city of Montpellier, in Alon, in Po, in Amiens. Today, thousands of French people are screaming for a new trial for Mumia. All the political prisoners of Mexico are participating in a support rally for Mumia right in Mexico City today. I went to death row yesterday and I met Mumia. I had been warned on the telephone, prepare yourself, Julia. You're going to have a different visit. There were tears in my eyes, and I knew why. Because Bishop Tutu had visited him a few months ago and left death row with those same human tears saying, what? In the highest democracy in the world, they shackle them where we do not? And they sent the message to SCI Green, stop it, stop it, unshackle him, he is not a beast. And that is what the prison did. I'm the sixth exonerated death row prisoner in Philadelphia. 
spent 17 years wrongly convicted on Pennsylvania's death row for a crime that I did not commit. I spent 15 years with Omia and Pennsylvania's death row. And when I couldn't do for myself, Mumia pulled me up and showed me how to do better for others, not just myself, but better for others. Free Mumia now, brick by brick, wall by wall, I stand here and I represent Mumia Abu Jamal. When it comes knocking on your door, when it's your son, your daughter, that gets snatched up by the cops and charged with something they didn't do, you know? Like I said before, this ain't about Mumia. This is about all of us. This is about a racist, unjust system that ain't never going to stop until we stop it.